me something about yourself and your relationship with Anglo-American University. Yes, it began in August of 1995 when the president at that time, Richard Jones, asked that I would come to Prague from the United States to teach comparative religions. And I thought that as well as other courses for the next two years. Then in 1999, I was asked to be the president of the institution, which I did again for two years. And during that period, we established the Anglo-American College and Anglo-American Institute for Liberal Studies, of which I was a founder and continue to serve as a founder today. So I assume that you agreed with the mission. Can you tell us what was the mission? Sure. For me, it was simply the phrase that we used at that time, education with a difference. It was something distinct from the state educational system and its method, but not simply a clone of Anglo-American uh, methods and mission as well. It was a learning community committed to the uh, process of learning and trying to discover the kind of society that the Czech and Slovaks and Eastern Europe wanted to form after the fall of communism. What are the main challenges universities face today? Well, of course, it depends on the context, but insofar as globalization affects the area in which you live and the institution in which you serve, then I would say on the one hand, how to develop the skills and discernment necessary to know how to navigate a very complex world. And on the other hand, how to develop the sensitivity and skills in order to push back against the controlling narratives that come with globalization. Two, for example, that I'm particularly keen about are, is the influence of secularism and consumerism. As Havel said, we must seek the truth, we must live the truth. And I think it's important always to ask, who is telling us the truth today? And more importantly, who is lying to us? And it seems to me that AAU can help prepare students to develop that kind of discernment in the, for the public square. What is the role of Anglo-American University in this context? To do exactly what I was saying earlier, which is to create or foster intellectual hospitality in order to entertain divergent positions in order to prepare students to think and act in creative and powerful and sustainable and positive ways in society. What would be your advice for students considering coming to AAU? The first thing I would say is you're welcome, please come. But I would also say do not come if your main purpose is to party and to be a tourist. In that case, come as a tourist. But if you want to come as a serious AAU student, then I would simply say that this is a place of serious learning and serious thinking and serious relationships, and we invite those kinds of students to participate in our learning community. We know that you are a big supporter of liberal arts education. Mm -hmm. What are the intrinsic value? Sure. Basically, we can always learn from the past. We can learn from their successes and their mistakes. We can learn from the great thinkers and their great ideas. Learning from the past helps us or hinders our pretensions in the present for the future. And so liberal arts traditionally promotes the searching for the good, the true, and the beautiful. And AAU has longstandingly been committed to these values and their structure and their professors, their staff are all geared to help students discover these intrinsic values through the past in the present for the future. And one last question. What would be your message for the Anglo-American University community? I would say go back first before you go forward. Go back and rediscover your roots. Rediscover who you are. What makes this particular institution almost a living entity and makes it distinctive educationally in this society. Rediscover that. Embrace it. AAU, as I mentioned the other day, is almost a verb to me. It is a life, it's a lifestyle, it's a perspective about learning and relationships, and it's an attitude that tries to make the world a better place for everyone. And I think no one can compete with AAU if it simply is itself. Thank you very much. Thank you.